Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, a while back, you guys saw that I got the HKS RS intakes, um, and a subscriber sent me or a comment on the video and asked, Are there any maintenance info? I heard that the filter could crumble apart and get sucked into the intake, but I suppose that's only if an owner literally never cleans or replaces the filter after a really, really long time. I hope you do a follow up on the filter condition in a year or two. Sub. So, Mr. Arizona 9001, I'm gonna do that for you. I mean, we've all seen that video on YouTube where you have that kid saying like, oh my gosh, my engine is sucking up all this material. That that person did not do any maintenance, so let's just say that. Literally, what my filters look like after a year of driving this thing. So, you can kind of see there is some dirt and grime on it, but We'll pull this off and then we're gonna take a look inside and see if Pabla is true. Before I get into taking out the filter, I just wanted to go through what HKS recommends for replacing those filters. Mine is the RS wet type and it says it's supposed to be replaced for every three months, three to six months or every 3,000 kilometers or 5,000 kilometers. I only drive this car maybe three, four months out of the year and it just sits in the garage. So I think my car is a prime example. The condition is gonna be like inside the intake system. A Japanese magazine, like a long time ago, I wanna say in like the late 90s, possibly early 2000s, that did a test on the Blitz, the HKS uh, Mega Flow filters, which it was like their first design. Yes, the green mushroom one. So I'm pretty sure everyone's seen that one. Uh, they did the Apexi power intake filter and the K&N and I'm pretty sure this isn't you know Surprising news or anything, but if you have a air filter that does really good at like getting rid of particles um, It's not gonna pull in a lot of CFM But if you have one that you know, it's not as good as filtering out particles It flows a lot more with their redesign. I don't think we're gonna have that issue here. I hope so in that test the winners were the Apexi power intake, the k &N filter, uh, then the Blitz, and then the HKS filter came in dead last. This is an old article, so I think with technology now, I would like to see this test redone again. Hopefully we'll see, or someone will pick this up and be like, hey, I'm gonna try to do this test, because I don't have the means of doing it, or I would. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sweating pulling off the intakes, just think, you know, what the condition could be like but you guys have to see this. So this is the secondary run, and then here's the primary run, and all I see is just a little bit of debris, but if I run my finger, like, that's it. It's not gritty. That's it, everyone, like, I think the rumors are false for this intake system, primary filter. And yeah, you just see a little bit of, there was one day when I was driving that there was a ton of pollen. So I feel like I probably sucked up a little bit of this, but honestly, I'm real surprised. I thought I was just gonna be the laughing stock of, you know, the YouTube world or the FD world too. But the condition of this guy is really not bad. So I'm gonna pull off the mesh and then we'll get a better look. Then I'll show you guys the secondary turbine filter. This one, you could definitely see a little bit of dirt on the inside. It's doing its job. None of this is in here. I really like to see an updated test with these filters against the competition. As you guys saw in the time lapse, pretty straightforward on how to get this all taken apart. As I was pulling this out, I was just trying to feel for any like grittiness. And yeah, nothing. Again, I'm just, you know, I'm real surprised. So all you haters out there on HKS, like just, just sit down. You guys don't know what you're talking about. We have the new filters and it, all this will be done in reverse. Replacement is pretty straightforward, but not. So this is like my second, third try trying to do this. So I showed it a little bit on time-lapse, but when you pull these guys out, and I think this is probably why I had some debris like inside of here is because uh, HKS instructs that you make sure that there's like no gaps here. You have to like finesse the foam into the uh, frame and then you have to get rid of all these uh, like wrinkles, but on the outside. 
wrinkles are fine on the inside, but not on the outside. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull it back out, push it back in, and then I'm gonna probably like pull this up a little bit, the foam, so it just sticks above the um, grates, the frame grates here just a little bit. So when I go to push this guy in, uh, I'll have like a nice seal on the outer rim here because it's pulling a ton of air like on the outside here not like just you know straight on it's crucial to keep you know particles out of your engine is uh making sure that this foam here is above the frame above the grate and then tightly up against this outer rim i think i got it so what I did is I brought the foam up a little bit above these uh, grates here and then uh, this outer rib and keep in mind all those videos out there that show foam getting sucked into the car you don't have to worry about that with the RS version because it has this and this will prevent it from getting sucked in so again this design has improved since old design put some respect on HKS please and then from there I just Pretty much push this down and then just made sure the seals here. I'm not seeing any light. Moving forward, I'll just put this guy on here. And then last but not least, here. And then I'll tighten it down. Intakes are in. Don't believe the hype done on the internet. Again, the forums are all saying like, you know, this is a bad intake system. Uh, again, that article is such an ancient article done back in the late 90s, early 2000s. This system is their most recent one and it gets rid of all the issues that the old intake system did. So yeah, just do your research. I'm very happy with what HK has given this car. Follow your recommended uh, intervals of replacing the filters and you guys won't have any issue. Don't you ever disrespect HKS.